Hey, what's happening, Nation? It's Joku. We got a lot to talk about tonight, so I'm going to be moving pretty damn quick. First, Foster Moreau was diagnosed with Hodgkin's disease. I'm really hoping that they caught it early because I know for a fact this can be beaten. And that kid can get his life back on track. But it is not an easy fight. It is a straight uphill battle. And Foster, that shit is not going to be easy. But keep your head up, man, because I promise you, you can get through this. Moving on, I want to talk about the two new free agents that we brought onto this team because I'm really excited about both of these guys. David Long Jr., I'm assuming, is coming onto this team to be our nickel corner. It is what he did for the Rams, and I'm assuming he's going to do the same damn thing for us. And that makes me wonder what we're going to end up doing with Amik. He could possibly end up playing the backup role to both our starting corners. But there's a shot he could end up winning that starting job from facing. I would not be shocked if that did happen. I just hate that kid's size, especially playing against the receivers that we have to go up against, playing in the AFC West. But I really do like Long coming onto this roster. He's going to have his work cut out for him, playing against the tight ends that he has to. And he is yet another one of the free agents that we have brought on on a one-year prove-it deal. But I honestly understand why the front office is signing so many of these guys to these one-year contracts. Because if we can make it through this season and have a little bit of growth and a little bit of positivity behind this team, we get to see a bunch of the old shitty contracts that we are still paying to this day to guys that aren't even on this roster. You will see a shit ton of money free up for 2024. And then the big news of the day, and this honestly made me happy as shit, we signed Austin Hooper. I love this kid. I watched him play live games in Atlanta, and he has all the tools that you need to be a brilliant tight end in the NFL, this kid could end up having a great, great season. Plus, we were in desperate need to bring a real tight end onto this team because Howard and Horstead are not even close to being it. But Hoop can definitely jump in, take that starting role, and be an immediate impact going into next season. This was a big signing for us, and it had to happen. It's like I said in my last video, if we did not sign Hooper when he came into that building, we were fucked at tight end going into next season. And finally, we have the Raider Nation Challenge, and I've seen a bunch of dudes making videos, telling their stories, and it's honestly been really cool to see. And normally, I would just completely ignore this and not even have a second thought about it, but Mikey put it out there, and I completely respect the work that he has done on YouTube and the length of time that he has been at this shit. And he was the number one Raiders YouTube channel for the longest damn time until the NFL came in and completely buried him, which is bullshit compared to what some of these people are doing today compared to what he was doing before. And it was really cool to see an actual Raider fan have the number one Raider channel. The top Raider channels right now aren't even Raider fans. That shit drives me insane and I do not understand it. Well, I guess I do actually understand Mitch, that kid's out there doing a job trying to make his way to ESPN. And I have all the support in the world for him. If I'm being completely honest, that kid has legitimate talent. I'm telling you right now, now, if he keeps at this shit for like the next five years, you will eventually see him on like ESPN2 covering some random college game that nobody's talking about. But he will have fulfilled his dream and his ass will be getting paid, so more power to you. But as far as the challenge goes, I remember the exact point when I became a Raider fan. It was autumn, there was a wind blowing. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Seriously though, and I know a lot of you guys have already heard this that have followed this channel for a while. It's pretty simple. When I played pound ball as a kid, I played for a team called the Raiders. We would play our games on Saturday mornings and then I would watch the Raiders on Sunday afternoons. And as like an 8 to 12 year old little kid, it was like we were all on the same damn team and I loved it. I was also lucky enough to have a Raider super fan in my family. Uncle Bill, rest in peace. I love you. Thank you for everything you did for us when we were kids. But that man hooked me up with more Raiders gear and more Raiders memorabilia than any other little kid growing up in Chicago had. And honestly, it wasn't always a good thing because I will tell you right now, if you grow up, during the mid-80s, the Bears were the shit. But thankfully, so were the Raiders. And since I played for a team called the Raiders, I was able to get away with wearing all my silver and black shit to school without catching any real hell for it. And to answer the question of why I make Raiders content, it's just fun to me, man. I really enjoy this shit. I know not everybody agrees with me. I know I piss people off sometimes. But I just like coming out and stating my own damn opinion. Take it with a grain of salt, because it's just me talking to you. I'm not making shit up. I'm not starting a bunch of rumors. I'm just talking about what's actually happening with the team right now. That about wraps it up. I appreciate y'all checking out another one. Peace Nation.